part two of your transfer bonanza. Ahoy there! We be telling you which ships have set sail from the port of Manchester United. Oh, might set sail. It's more might. It's larger. Yeah, basically, who's leaving? Yeah, uh, so we'll start with David De Gea. According to uh, lots of people, he's massively fallen out of Ica Casillas and they're no longer talking. We know this is absolutely true because there's a video of them in the same place and they're not really petty. Yeah, I mean, basically, what is, if you haven't watched the video, they both get out of the cars and they don't immediately go, Ica, 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 David, Ica. And then they go and they start signing some autographs and they, and they don't have a chat. It yeah. maybe is a bit weird. I think if we saw each other in a car park, we'd, we'd, probably, we'd probably say hello before we go and sign all the fans' autographs. Um, <laughs> the first floor there is those that neither you or I drive. Yeah. <laughs> what would we uh, be doing in this car park? We'd probably be in the same taxi, <laughs> catching up with each other. Yeah, we would. It is a bit weird, isn't it? Yeah. Um, um, the Mirror reckon that we're going to sell him, uh, not going to sell him, we're going to turn down Real Madrid's advances because they're only going to offer £15 million, pounds, 15 which is less than we bought him for. Million. That's what people are touting Klein being sold for. I am furious about this, mate. It's £15 vomiting. million. We bought him for 17.8. He's become one of the world's best goalkeepers. And they're like, oh, £15 million. I'm like, this is an <laughs> insult. I'd be like, oh, let's I'd make myself be sick at the meeting. If they said, oh, we're thinking £15 million, I'd just go... Oh. Oh. <laughs> that's what I, I think. Can I see that contract? Perez, come over here. Can I see that contract? Just, can I see that? <laughs> just throw up all over him and his contract. Can I, can I see that guy? I'd take, it, I'd take a big old dump on it and say, um, and but the danger is that they'd go, that actually counts as a signature anyway. Oh. Anyway, next up, <laughs> from our, we've been looking from the crow's nest and we've seen Petr Cech. Yeah, uh, so Jose Mourinho's been talking about Petr Cech and he says he absolutely doesn't want to sell him. He'd rather he just lingered on the bench. Uh, but Abramovich... I do think it's a bit weird how Mourinho's like, I want to keep him. I want to keep him on the bench. You're not going to play him. It's no, horrible. Yeah, it's Great a bit me. Great goal. Um, uh, Abramovich has sort of got some sort of gentleman's agreement, so it looks like he probably is going to leave. Mourinho was then all like, well, if I do have to get rid of him, then maybe whoever's club he goes to, I'll see a player of theirs I like. Because he's like, I'm, I can buy whoever I like on earth. Unlucky, Guess mate. Cleverly's already gone. More exactly. on that later. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Unlucky. Um, so doesn't that like ship has sailed? Czechs also said he'd like to stay in clever Lee. He'd like to stay in London because his kids and that go to school in London. Yeah. Which sort of rules us out a bit. Um, elsewhere, Handanovic of Inter Milan's agent has come out and said there's been nothing with Manchester United. They haven't spoken, and it's all just gossip. And, then it, it, and unless something drastically changes, this one. Yeah, he has said that the transfer market is unpredictable. Yep. So he's not saying that if Manchester United, he's saying there hasn't been any contact. But if there were to be contact, he's not saying like oh, no. we are not interested. Yeah. So who knows? I don't think it's gonna happen. Uh, let's talk about Robin Van Persie, Ian. Yeah, let's up Periscope and have a look at out, out of Robin Van Persie. I'm wearing a sailor's hat. Okay. So, Robin Van Persie is definitely moving to Roma because he has been pictured in Rome. Yeah. Why else would he be there on his summer holidays? Uh, I don't know. It's Can't think of a reason. Beautiful architecture, the history, it's a lovely city, nice food, uh, wine. People are friendly. It's I'm asking why would he be there, not give me some reasons for him not going, mate. Uh, well, it's really mad, isn't it? Because usually, though, when a player joins a new club, way before anybody hears about it happening, they're sort of just wandering around the city, talking to locals, signing autographs, yeah, sightseeing, taking pictures. People always do that. That's why we keep seeing, oh, yeah, no other footballers just yeah. happen. Southampton just players going around the Beatle exhibition. Beatles <laughs> exhibition. <laughs> We're not saying that Robin Van Persie might not leave Manchester United this summer. It just seems mad. Everyone just got, oh, he's in Rome. Yeah. Oh, he can't go on holidays now. Beautiful old historical it? city. He must be joining their cleanup clubs. Uh, it, Elder, oh. Are you okay, mate? No. Lazio have ruled themselves out anyway. Lazio have ruled themselves out, and Juventus have tentative interest. Tentative. Ten million pounds. Yeah, I think you need a bargain for ten million pounds. He wants to play, doesn't he? he wants to play every game. He wants to play. Someone else who wants to play. Javier, the little P Hernandez. Yeah, I don't. I think he'd be happy to play at Grimsby. If they started him. Yeah, he just he just wants to start. Mm. That's all he wants. He wants to be up front, like More the the, um, the model woman on the front of a ship. Oh yeah, say, good. For example, yeah, another good um, ship link. He just wants to he just wants to play, but he does want uh, people are also saying he wants to revive his career at Manchester United. Yeah. And with Falcao going, with RVP going, maybe he'd be in with a shot. Yeah. Or he might get stuck in the rigging again. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Did that one sell over your head? Oh, I've got two in there. Uh, elsewhere, Thomas Cleverley, as Ian mentioned earlier, has signed for Everton. He signed a five-year deal. Um, one of the most exciting young footballers from Manchester United Academy of recent years. 
got away from us. Cleverly's gone, Welbeck's gone, the academy is just being absolutely pillaged. Pillaged. That's a funny word, isn't it? Um, uh, elsewhere, we want to tell you something exciting. So, we know some guys who have created, or creating, a whole brand new YouTube channel called Football Republic. The information, or the link, is in the description below. Well, the so same people who do Coffee Republic or Banana Republic. Neither, none of those people. Okay. Uh, these guys? The, Dem the former Democratic Republic of Congo? Is also different. Oh, also, okay. Or, uh, we're right, no, that's not Republic. We'll also feature in videos, won't we? We'll, we'll pop up. I hope so, mate. It is a generic sort of football forum. What I'm saying is it's not it's not generic. What is it then? Well because it just covers football all over. It's for yeah. football fans. Yeah well we didn't it's know we'll we? be doing stuff we'll be talking about United but there's all sorts. It's it all is clubs. a community. It yeah. is a hub for football. You a centre point, a focal point mate. You've done a much better job than me. Well, so that's in the thing below. We think you'll really so. like that. That's why we're telling you about it. Uh, so see you later. Have a great week. Get your comments in below. Who do you want to sign? Who do you want to sign? 15 million for David De Gea. Mental or not? <laughs>